it felt like a real race to the finish line for this to be done while we could still have him here at the premiere. We did not think he would make it to this premiere. For the last two years, we've been told he's got less than six months to live, and in May, he was told it was imminent. He was on 18 liters per minute of oxygen. I knew that Jeff had been suffering over the years, but it was the first time I really saw suffering at a level that made me say, OK, it, it, he can go. Yeah, I've got to let him go and not hope he stays, because it's painful. Jeff says, I'll take care of it. I'm like, OK. Like, what's that mean? He's like, I'll take care of it. And I'm like, yeah, right, buddy, OK. But within a month, he was completely off supplemental oxygen during the day. It's been truly remarkable. I mean, to me, that's Jeff. He's still that guy. The doctors and the nurses are all like, well, no one's ever done that. After two years on oxygen, kind of just decided, oh, I think I'll get off. <laughs> <laughs> Big love to cast and filmmakers, led by Jim Aikman. A big loving thanks to my family. Amazing thanks to all the climbing partners who've shared a rope with me. Is there more? Yeah, a little bit more. Do I finish reading it? No, oh, there it is. Oh, I have it up there. You read it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the most amazing love I've ever known, I have to thank my better self, Connie, who has taught me that there's a whole universe of love to look forward to. Jeff Lowe's one of those seminal climbers who's a rarity in the history of any sport. Very clearly the finest all-around climber of this generation, period. He has advanced American climbing more than anybody I know. He was truly a visionary climber. What Jeff went on to do individually is uh, really a story unlike any other. It's a story that needs to be told. To me, coming onto this film, the most exciting part about it was the humanity and, and Jeff's experiences that maybe don't get looked at a lot by other climbing films, and really exploring his life and you know the, the shiny parts of it and, and maybe the grittier parts of it as well. In 2000, Jeff began feeling the symptoms of an undiagnosed disease. In the years that followed, dealing with this mysterious illness would demand more of him than any climb. It was incredible. Jeff's amazing. Through his experiences climbing and through this illness, he's reached this level of understanding with the universe. You know, that acceptance of that process is I think very, very admirable. But and you it, must have, have gone through the same process to some degree yourself. Or... Doing the best you can with what you got from where you are right now is what he did as a climber. It's what I've done with the, this process of Jeff's illness. It's what he's done with mm -hmm. this process of this illness. When you embrace reality, It puts you in the perfect place. It puts you in the perfect place for making good decisions. And to be able to move ahead. That's what I do. Embrace reality. Realizing visions is so fulfilling, it feeds the soul. I was born to climb, no question. That's a great answer. That's a really great answer.